As part of GCSE Maths, you're going to have to know your compass points. So those of you who have done a Duke of Edinburgh award or a good at orienteering should know this already. Um, so here is a compass. We've got north, south, east, west. Okay. Um, and you need to know really kind of where northeast is pointing, where northwest is pointing, southwest, southeast as well. You should also know that the angles in between each of the directions, so this whole direction between north and east, for example, will be a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So between east and southeast, we're going to be looking at 45 degrees. So each one of these sections represents a 45 degree angle. So let's say um, I'm facing northwest. I turn 90 degrees clockwise and then turn 180 degrees anti-clockwise. In which direction am I now pointing? So if I face northwest and I turn 90 degrees clockwise, the 90 degrees clockwise moves me to northeast. Clockwise is going round like a clock in this direction. So I have moved from north to northeast by 90 degrees. And then I turn 180 degrees anti-clockwise. So I spin round anti-clockwise, which is going around the opposite, opposite direction. And I would cover from northeast round to southwest. So I will be end up standing towards southwest. So you need to know how to position yourself this way. You could get a question similar to this just to make sure that you know how, uh, in which direction you would be pointing after a number of turns. If you need to, or in, and the diagram's not there, draw a little diagram to help if you need to. But that's, that's compass directions.